the, inside the uh, tank as well. Customer's complaint is that it's making a, a noise, that whistling sound you hear. And the issue with that is this broken fill valve on this Toto one-piece toilet. Uh, they've been turning off the valve there. And when they turn it back on, there's no water in the tank as well. So I'm going to change out the, the flapper and the water measuring device, also known as the fill valve. We'll turn off the valve down below. We'll drain as much water as we can out of the tank. color don't worry it does the same thing as long as it says total on it you'll have no problems don't use a Home Depot flapper they don't work oh. so it's the same brand excuse me so it's the same brand okay. yeah you have to use Toto flappers on Toto toilets can I take a picture sure nice okay the Home Depot one doesn't work no <laughs> from you. <laughs> Never do a job, no. I have to like the Wolverine brass fill valve. It has a brass shank, unlike the plastic one, you'll see what we take out of this one. So installing the water filter system will help with this? Yeah, because you'll, um, you'll address water quality, mm -hmm. which is a, a problem in a lot of neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of iron is brought, introduced into the, um, into the house, water piping. Mm -hmm sediment i've seen sand <laughs> you know uh, a lot of uh garbage basically wow wow little tree we have to undo this nut back here that brass nut. And normally I use a vacuum, a shop vac to clean that out, but our shop vac 
is broken. So this one has a plastic shank. Uh, let me let you see. Can you, can you just, oh, I'll show my husband. So what, was it a problem again? Well, this whole thing was the, oh, yeah. this whole piece is what we took out because this was making that noise. And not to mention the fact that it was leaking out water from the top. But again, it's a little, it's a little bit of inferior part, surprisingly for a very expensive toilet. But, oh. So we're replacing this? With one that has a brass shank. Oh, let me see. It's already inside the toilet. <laughs> All right. right there. Oh, it's, a, it's like a lower. Yeah, we'll, we'll adjust that. Okay. Oh. Not, not done yet. That is the one with the problem. Not the whole pipe. No. Okay. no not air in the pipe either. Okay. <laughs> That's a handy bad response. Does not come with the total toilet, the separate part. What do you mean? I mean, uh, total is a good brand. I it assume, is. I assume it should be coming with quality parts. And it usually it does. <laughs> <laughs> usually. Okay. All right. So now we're just gonna disinfect inside of the tank. Just disinfectant. Yep. Do we need to do that um, you know, in a regular basis? No, I only do it when I, when I change parts in the toilet. Okay. But normally for the maintenance, I don't need to do it, right? No. All right. We'll reconnect our water supply. That small part makes such a big little noise, huh? Yep. <laughs> Anytime you work on a toilet, you want to dry the area, the valve, the compression nuts, the speedy to the fill valve, dry that up, and then check it a few times, make sure there's no leaks on it. So now we'll just use this hose, which fills the bowl, and just spray down the inside of the tank. We'll let that run for a little while. Unfortunately, this is the part we're going to waste maybe a gallon or two of water, but just to rinse out inside of the tank. Mm. You're like the surgeon, taking the insert. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's, uh, he's our newest apprentice. You get more experience if you walk down. Yeah. There's so many places in the house like this. Alright. Joyce, you'll give us a good price? Or have you come over in the neighborhood? Always the best price. Okay. Mm -hmm. That blue part also goes away, right? Yeah, we're not done yet. Okay. Clean. We're going to set the flapper. Something like that. We'll set the flapper. Shame, make sure there's enough slack on there. And then we'll stick in the line from the bowl, I mean, from the fill valve onto the overflow tube like that. Now we're going to adjust
losing water. Why? No, we're not. Okay. But let's increase the... I like to bring it about a half an inch below the top of the overflow tube. Mm -hmm. And silence. Now, if you look in the bowl, if there was any leakage on the flapper or the gasket that holds the flush valve in place, you'd see water dripping along the bowl here, which we don't see now. But I love the soft close seat. So we'll give it a flush. So we have a good flush. That's all dry. So, pretty close. You see any water or anything there? No. All right, double check. Use your hands. Make sure they're dry. Look at your fingers. Make sure they're dry. Yeah. Always triple check. No need to have a recall. Something to be taken care of in the first first uh, service call. Dry? Yep. Good. 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 models, the part numbers that are needed. Do not use chlorine-based disinfectants in the toilet tank as they degrade the components. Basically what that means, do not use in-tank cleaners. Those things that hang on the tank and uh, are designed to give you good, nice um, disinfected water. Um, they eat components. Really? So that's what polar stamps their toilet lids inside. Use of in-tank cleaners voids warranty. Because yeah, they know. My, my, my toilet. And then the problem with the ones that hang on the rim of the bowl, you know, like hang right here somewhere. Yeah, like it looks like a sponge. Yeah, it looks right? like a little thing. Yeah. Well, what happens when that falls off and someone accidentally flushes it down the toilet? Uh -oh. Now you got a, a toilet stoppage and you're gonna have to try to get that out. I've smashed open bowls to take them out. <laughs> you gotta get them out somehow, right? You gotta get them out. 